In mathematics, a linear combination is an expression constructed from a set of terms by multiplying each term by a constant and adding the results e.g. a linear combination of x and y would be any expression of the form x plus by, where a and b are constants. The concept of linear combinations is central to linear algebra and related fields of mathematics. Most of this article deals with linear combinations in the context of a vector space over a field, with some generalizations given at the end of the article. Definition Suppose that K is a field for example, the real numbers and V is a vector space over K as usual, we call elements of V vectors and call elements of K scalars. If V1 Vn are vectors and A1 and air scalars, then the linear combination of those vectors with those scalars as coefficients is a 1 V 1 plus a 2 v 2 plus a 3 v 3 plus plus a n v n Display style a underscore one vec v underscore one plus a underscore two vec v underscore two plus a underscore three vec v underscore three plus c d o t s plus a underscore n vec v underscore n. There is some ambiguity in the use of the term linear combination as to whether it refers to the expression or to its value. In most cases the value is emphasized, like in the assertion, the set of all linear combinations of V1 Vn always forms a subspace. However, one could also say, two different linear combinations can have the same value, in which case the expression must have been meant. The subtle difference between these uses is the essence of the notion of linear dependence. A family F of vectors is linearly independent precisely if any linear combination of the vectors in F as value is uniquely so as expression. In any case, even when viewed as expressions, all that matters about a linear combination is the coefficient of each v. Trivial modifications such as permuting the terms or adding terms with zero coefficient do not give distinct linear combinations. In a given situation, k and v may be specified explicitly, or they may be obvious from context. In that case, we often speak of a linear combination of the vectors v1. Vn, with the coefficients unspecified except that they must belong to K. Or, if S is a subset of V, we may speak of a linear combination of vectors in S, where both the coefficients and the vectors are unspecified, except that the vectors must belong to the set S and the coefficients must belong to K. Finally, we may speak simply of a linear combination, where nothing is specified except that the vectors must belong to V and the coefficients must belong to K. In this case one is probably referring to the expression, since every vector in V is certainly the value of some linear combination. Note that by definition, a linear combination involves only finitely many vectors except as described in generalizations below. However, the set S that the vectors are taken from if one is mentioned can still be infinite, each individual linear combination will only involve finitely many vectors. Also, there is no reason that n cannot be zero, in that case, we declare by convention that the result of the linear combination is the zero vector in V. Examples and counterexamples Euclidean vectors 
Let the field K be the set R of real numbers, and let the vector space V be the Euclidean space R3. Consider the vectors E1. Topic 1, 0, 0, E2. 0, 1, 0, and E3 equals 0, 0, 1. Then any vector in R3 is a linear combination of E1, E2, and E3. To see that this is so, take an arbitrary vector a1, a2, a3 in R3 and write a 1 a 2 a 3 equals a 1 0 0 plus 0 a 2 0 plus 0 0 a 3 Display style a underscore one a underscore two a underscore three equals a underscore one zero zero plus zero a underscore two zero plus zero zero a underscore three equals a one one zero zero plus a two zero one zero plus a three zero zero one Display style equals a underscore one one zero zero plus a underscore two zero one zero plus a underscore three zero zero one equals a one e one plus a two e two plus Three E three Display style equals a underscore one E underscore one plus A underscore two E underscore two plus A underscore three E underscore three. Topic Functions Let K be the set C of all complex numbers, and let V be the set C C R of all continuous functions from the real line R to the complex plane C. Consider the vectors functions f and g defined by f t equals e i t and g t equals e minus it. Here e is the base of the natural logarithm, about 2.71828. An i is the imaginary unit, a square root of minus 1. Some linear combinations of f and g are On the other hand, the constant function 3 is not a linear combination of f and g. To see this, suppose that 3 could be written as a linear combination of e i t and e minus it. This means that there would exist complex scalars a and b such that a e i t plus b minus it equals 3 for all real numbers t. Setting t equals 0 and t. Topic. Pi gives the equations a plus b. 3 and a plus b. equals minus 3, and clearly this cannot happen. See Euler's identity. Equals Topic Polynomials equals Let K be R, C, or any field, and let V be the set P of all polynomials with coefficients taken from the field K. Consider the vectors polynomials P one equals one, P two equals x plus one, and P three equals x two plus x plus one. 
Is the polynomial x2 minus 1 a linear combination of p1, p2, and p3? To find out, consider an arbitrary linear combination of these vectors and try to see when it equals the desired vector x2 minus 1. Picking arbitrary coefficients a1, a2, and a3, we want a 1 1 plus a 2 x plus 1 plus a 3 x 2 plus x plus 1 equals x 2 minus 1 display style a underscore 1 1 plus a underscore 2 x plus 1 plus a underscore 3 x caret 2 plus x plus 1 equals x caret 2 minus 1 multiplying the polynomials out this means one plus a two x plus a two plus a three x two plus a three x plus a three equals x 2 minus 1 display style a underscore 1 plus a underscore 2 x plus a underscore 2 plus a underscore 3 x caret 2 plus a underscore 3 x plus a underscore 3 equals x caret 2 minus 1 and collecting like powers of x we get a 3 x 2 plus a 2 plus a 3 x plus a 1 plus a 2 plus a 3 equals 1 x 2 plus 0 x plus minus 1 Display style a underscore three x carrot two plus a underscore two plus a underscore three x plus a underscore one plus a underscore two plus a underscore three equals one x carrot two plus zero x plus minus one Two polynomials are equal if and only if their corresponding coefficients are equal, so we can conclude a 3 equals 1 a 2 plus a 3 equals 0 a 1 plus a 2 plus a 3 equals minus 1 Display style a underscore three equals one quad a underscore two plus a underscore three equals zero quad a underscore one plus a underscore two plus a underscore three equals minus one. This system of linear equations can easily be solved. First, the first equation simply says that a three is one. Knowing that, we can solve the second equation for a two, which comes out to minus one. Finally, the last equation tells us that a1 is also minus 1. Therefore, the only possible way to get a linear combination is with these coefficients. Indeed, x 2 minus 1 equals minus 1 minus x plus 1 
plus x two plus x plus one equals minus p one minus p two plus p three Display style x carrot two minus one equals minus one x plus one plus x carrot two plus x plus one equals p underscore one p underscore two plus p underscore three. So x two minus one is a linear combination of p one, p two, and p three. On the other hand, what about the polynomial x three minus one? If we try to make this vector a linear combination of p1, p2, and p3, then following the same process as before, we'll get the equation 0 x 3 plus a 3 x 2 plus a 2 plus 3 x plus a 1 plus a 2 plus a 3 display style 0 x caret 3 plus a underscore 3 x caret 2 plus a underscore 2 plus a underscore 3 x plus a underscore 1 plus a underscore 2 plus a underscore 3 equals 1 x 3 plus 0 x 2 plus 0 x plus minus 1 display style equals 1 x caret 3 plus 0 x caret 2 plus 0 x plus minus 1 however when we set corresponding coefficients equal in this case the equation for x3 is 0 equals 1 Display style zero equals one, which is always false. Therefore, there is no way for this to work, and x three minus one is not a linear combination of p one, p two, and p three. Topic: The linear span. Take an arbitrary field K, an arbitrary vector space V, and let V1 Vn be vectors in V. It's interesting to consider the set of all linear combinations of these vectors. This set is called the linear span or just span of the vectors, say S equals V1 Vn. We write the span of S as span S or SP S S P V one V N equals O one V one plus plus A N V N A one A N element of K displaystyle mathem SP V underscore one L dots V underscore N equals a underscore one V underscore one plus C D O T S plus A underscore N V underscore N A underscore one L dots a underscore N in K topic Linear independence For some sets of vectors V1 Vn A single vector can be written in two different ways as a linear combination of them V equals A I 
v i equals b i v i where a i does not equal b i display style v equals sum underscore i v underscore i equals sum b underscore i v underscore i text where a underscore i n e q b underscore i equivalently by subtracting these c i equals a i minus b i display style c underscore i equals a underscore i b underscore i a non trivial combination is 0 0 equals c i v i display style 0 equals sum c underscore i v underscore i if that is possible then v1 Vn are called linearly dependent, otherwise, they are linearly independent. Similarly, we can speak of linear dependence or independence of an arbitrary set S of vectors. If S is linearly independent and the span of S equals V, then S is a basis for V. <laughs> Affine, conical, and convex combinations By restricting the coefficients used in linear combinations, one can define the related concepts of affine combination, conical combination, and convex combination, and the associated notions of sets closed under these operations. Because these are more restricted operations, more subsets will be closed under them, so affine subsets, convex cones, and convex sets are generalizations of vector subspaces. A vector subspace is also an affine subspace, a convex cone, and a convex set, but a convex set need not be a vector subspace, affine, or a convex cone. These concepts often arise when one can take certain linear combinations of objects, but not any, for example, probability distributions are closed under convex combination they form a convex set, but not conical or affine combinations or linear, and positive measures are closed under conical combination but not affine or linear, hence one defines signed measures as the linear closure. Linear and affine combinations can be defined over any field or ring, but conical and convex combination require a notion of positive, and hence can only be defined over an ordered field or ordered ring, generally the real numbers. If one allows only scalar multiplication, not addition, one obtains a not necessarily convex cone. One often restricts the definition to only allowing multiplication by positive scalars. All of these concepts are usually defined as subsets of an ambient vector space, except for affine spaces, which are also considered as vector spaces for getting the origin, rather than being axiomatized independently. Topic. Operid theory More abstractly, in the language of operid theory, one can consider vector spaces to be algebras over the operid R infinity display style math bf r caret in t the infinite direct sum, so only finitely many terms are non-zero, this corresponds to only taking finite sums, which parametrizes linear combinations, the vector 2 3 minus 5 0 display style 2 3 minus 5 0 dots for instance corresponds to the linear combination 2 v 1 plus 3 v 2 minus 5 v 3 plus 
zero V four plus Display style two V underscore one plus three V underscore two five V underscore three plus zero V underscore four plus C D O T S Similarly, one can consider affine combinations, conical combinations, and convex combinations to correspond to the suboperids where the terms sum to one, the terms are all non-negative, or both, respectively. Graphically, these are the infinite affine hyperplane, the infinite hyperoctant, and the infinite simplex. This formalizes what is meant by R n Display style math bf r caret n being or the standard simplex being model spaces and such observations as that every bounded convex polytope is the image of a simplex. Here suboperids correspond to more restricted operations and thus more general theories. From this point of view, we can think of linear combinations as the most general sort of operation on a vector space, saying that a vector space is an algebra over the operate of linear combinations is precisely the statement that all possible algebraic operations in a vector space are linear combinations. The basic operations of addition and scalar multiplication, together with the existence of an additive identity and additive inverses, cannot be combined in any more complicated way than the generic linear combination. The basic operations are a generating set for the operate of all linear combinations. Ultimately, this fact lies at the heart of the usefulness of linear combinations in the study of vector spaces. Topic: Generalizations. If V is a topological vector space, then there may be a way to make sense of certain infinite linear combinations using the topology of V. For example, we might be able to speak of a one V one plus a two V two plus a three V three plus, going on forever. Such infinite linear combinations do not always make sense, we call them convergent when they do. Allowing more linear combinations in this case can also lead to a different concept of span, linear independence, and basis. The articles on the various flavors of topological vector spaces go into more detail about these. If K is a commutative ring instead of a field, then everything that has been said above about linear combinations generalizes to this case without change. The only difference is that we call spaces like this V modules instead of vector spaces. If K is a noncommutative ring, then the concept still generalizes, with one caveat. Since modules over noncommutative rings come in left and right versions, our linear combinations may also come in either of these versions, whatever is appropriate for the given module. This is simply a matter of doing scalar multiplication on the correct side. A more complicated twist comes when V is a bimodule over two rings, KL and KR. In that case, the most general linear combination looks like a one V one B one plus plus A N V N B N Display style a underscore one v underscore one b underscore one plus c d o t s plus a underscore n v underscore n b underscore n, where a one and belong to k l b one b n belong to k r and v one v n belong to v. Topic. Application An important application of linear combinations is to wave functions in quantum mechanics. 